because it's Joanne and I have an elf haul. All kinds of goodies. I did the 50% off their studio line sale they were having. I just couldn't resist. And now I'm on a complete no buy. Not buying anything until I use up some of this crap. I have so much stuff. So first I'm going to show you these big gorgeous palettes. They're the 144 pan eyeshadow palettes. I got the Naturalize and what is this one called? The Bright Eyeshadow Palette. They're absolutely amazing. Um, if you want swatches or a review, let me know down below and I'll be happy to do that. There's just too many in there. The first thing in the bag oh, the brush. Brush. I've heard so many things about this and I've been wanting to try it, but I wasn't going to pay six bucks for it. And this is what it looks like. It is so soft. So soft. I'm excited to add this to my collection. Um, let's see what else we got here. The next thing is the eyebrow filler, whatever, lifter kit thing. It's just a pencil. Um, everybody talks about these, so I just had to get one and try it. Of course, I didn't use it today. My eyebrows look ratchet, but hey, I'm not complaining. Um, so this is the fill side. It's just a flesh tone, highlighty color. And then I got the medium kit, which may be too dark for me, but... Oh, yeah. I think that'll be too dark. And it's kind of a reddish tone. You can see it there. But we'll give it a shot. I'll work with it and see. Oh, and the cap has a built-in sharpener. That's pretty awesome. Um, the next thing I got was the, the blush and candy it? coral. It's not showing up very true to color. Let's see if I can swatch it. It's just a really, really pretty coral color. My lighting is ratchet today. I should have done go. a video. You can see it right there. It's just a really pretty coral color. It's super soft. It does have a little bit of a sheen to it, but not anything. It's just going to double as a highlighter. Four brushes. This is my absolute favorite brush by them. It's the powder brush. If you don't own this, I don't know why not. It's a flat top. It's super soft. These don't shed. I have three. I bought another one just for the purpose of buying another one. Um, I also got the eyeshadow C brush. I absolutely love this brush. I have several of these too. Um, I got the concealer brush, and I don't use this for concealer. I like to use it for a big fluffy brush to blend in my shadows. It's pretty huge, but it works good to blend in. I love it. And then the last brush I got was a new brush. I haven't ever tried this one before, but it's the blush brush. I'm sure it can't be bad because none of their brushes from the studio line are bad. It's kind of tiny. It's um, a paddle top. If you can see, it's there and then it's pressed in the middle. So I think that'll work great. I'll let you guys know how I like that. The Poreless Face Primer, which everybody knows I love the Mineral Face Primer. So I wanted to try the Poreless see how and this see how it can benefit professional and things like that. So I'll do a review on this later if you guys want. Then I got a glitter gloss. I hate glitter. I but I wanted to try this. Um, somebody I watched a video on talked about how amazing this is and how it doesn't really glitter on your lips. But it just gives you a nice shine. So I had to try it. It's not as big as their other lip glosses. And you can see the glitter shining in there. Um, this is in Sparkling Wine. Uh, it has a brush tip applicator. And I swatched it on the inside of my hand. So let me get a better swatch here. Oh, and that looks really nice. It's a really pretty, like, pink color. It doesn't feel like it's going to be sticky. I, it don't feel like you can really feel the glitters. It blends out really nice. So, we'll see how that goes. Now i got to get the swatch off the inside of my hand. Um, we're not even halfway through this bag. That was bad. <clears throat> this is the Lip Conditioning Balm. Emily Noel talks about this. She loves it. I hope it's good because I love lip balm. Oh, it comes with a little safety seal on it. When you open it up, it looks just like this. Oh, it's very pigmented. There's the swatch right there. That is insanely pigmented. And it seems like it's going to be very uh, hydrating. Let's try a little. Ooh. Yes, that's nice. Um, I got two of the cream eyeliners. Let me see if I can pull the other one out. 
I got just the black, and then I got this really pretty teal color. I'm not going to swatch the black. Everybody knows what black brush. Looks like. I heard these brushes were really good, but I don't know. And this is in the color Teal Tees. I don't know if that'll focus for you guys to see, but I tried. Uh, oh, oh, it's, it's super pigmented, creamy. super pretty, super metallic -y. I think it'll look good up under the eye after I dug a hole right in the middle a of it. A matte lipstick in the color Oops. Teal Rose. I absolutely love this. I have one already, but I had to have a backup. So, when it's 50% off and you can get it for $1.50, you do it. You just do beautiful and it's just like a crayon top and there's the color right there it is so pretty so pretty and it's true it's matte it stays matte it doesn't dry your lips out because it's still conditioning i just love it um i got a baked bronzer and i accidentally picked up the wrong color i got saint lucia and i need the next one up but it's okay i'll work with it i'm not gonna swatch that everybody knows what bronzer looks like um, then I got the Brow Duo. I also got this in medium, but I've used this in medium before, and it's not as harsh as the other one. And the last two things in the bag are the new um, Elf Bake Highlighter, and this one's in this pink really diamonds. pretty pink iridescent color. Oh, can y'all see that? It's so shiny. Excuse the, the last thing I got, opinion. and this was a recommendation from... No, I'm not going to be able to think of her name, but I'll link her channel down below. I absolutely love her. Um, this is one of the long-lasting lustrous eyeshadows. And this don't have the color on it. Did the box. Here's the name. If y'all can see that. I don't know if you can. <coughs> but it's just this gorgeous purpley color. And it feels like a mousse. But when you... My hand is still wet. When you swatch it, it is just absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. I wish it would show color. I really do. Let me see if I tilt my hand. Anywho, it's just a purpley pink, amazing color. I'll try to do a tutorial with this one. My lot's better. So y'all can see it. Because it's just not going to give you true color on camera it makes it look like a dirty is brown it for my it elf so not. i absolutely love elf products i'll check back in with you guys i may have some of these featured in my march favorites who knows let you know how i like them what i did like what i didn't like we'll see a bit of advice never ever ever purchase elf full price wait for it to go half off they're all the time having half off bestsellers half off studio half off the dollar line half off the entire site wait it out i know it's hard just wait and you can get all this stuff everything i showed you today i paid 40 bucks for so wait it out for the half off sale if you like haul videos give this one a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe i have plenty more videos coming your way soon i'll see you guys next time